Hi, for this recording, I'm going to show you how to determine the following series for question 3a. Summation of n power 3 times 5 power n over n factorial. Is this convergent or divergent? Okay. And we're going to use the rules given in the books. So first of all, the infinite series is n power 3. The terms is n power 3, 5 power n and over n factorial. So we are call this term, let's call this term a n. Let a n be equal to n power 3, 5 power n over n factorial. Now, the present of 5 power n and n factorial give us a hint that if we use a ratio test, we may be able to get some answer. So what does this ratio test say? So we can refer to the text, the dependent text page 100, which will tell say that if you have an infinite series with positive terms, all the terms are positive, and the limit of this ratio, a, m, a power, n plus 1 term over the n term, the limit goes to L, as n goes approaches infinity. Now, if L is between 0 and 1, then we know that series is convergent. If L is more than 1, then the series is divergent. Now, what if L is equal to 1? Then there is no conclusion from the ratio test. That means you have to try other tests already. Now, ratio test is good when whenever you take ratio, there are a lot of cancellation. Now, in our situation, our term, we, are, we are going to get a lot of cancellation for our question. First of all, a n is according to our question the terms n term is n power 3 5 power n n factorial so if you let's write this n power 3 5 power n over n factorial then we have to figure out what is the next term n plus 1 term so the n plus 1 term change the n to n plus 1 we get n plus 1 power 3 over 5 power n plus 1 over n plus 1 factorial and now we're going to take a ratio of a n plus 1 term over the n term so when you take the ratio it becomes like this n plus 1 power 3 times 5 power n plus 1 over n plus 1 factorial divided by a n this is the same as multiplied by n factorial n power 3 pi power n now notice that we have a lot of cancellation why is it so? because the 5 power n plus 1 is actually 5 power n times 5 and n plus 1 factorial is actually n plus 1 times n factorial Right? So, we're going to see a lot of cancellation. You may want to recall some of the things about factorial if you have forgotten. For example, you can do this. For example, 7 factorial is what? 7 factorial is actually 7 times 6 factorial. Right? So, you can make use of this kind of identity as 6 factorial is 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And this is how I have n plus 1 factorial is n plus 1 times n factorial because of this kind of reasoning. And after I do that, then you find that we have a lot of cancellation. 5 power n and 5 power n cancel. n factorial and n factorial cancel. And some more we have also cancellation. n plus 1 power 3 cancel with n plus 1. And they will leave us to have right this is equal to n plus 1 square times 5 over n power 3 right after n plus 1 and n plus 1 power 3 cancel okay so this one this two also got a cancellation left with n plus 1 square so in the end 
this is actually after cancellation you'll find that this is equal to 5 times n cubed in the denominator n square plus 2n plus 1 right and we can simplify further this is a n plus 1 over a n is equal to 5 times n squared over n cubed plus 2 n over n cubed plus 1 over n cubed which I may simplify to 1 over n plus 2 over n squared plus 1 over n cubed now we know that we know 1 over n power P, for example, for P, any positive number, is a null sequence. So, we know that 1 over n, 1 over n, 1 over n square, 1 over n cubed, are null sequence. Therefore, they converge to zero. And you apply the combination rule. Apply combination rule. We all know that the limit of a n plus one over a n as n approaches infinity is equal to limit of n goes to infinity five times. 1 over n plus 2 over n square plus 1 over n cubed. As n goes to infinity, you'll find that it all goes to 5 times 0 plus 0 plus 0 equal to 0. And this number is L. And this L is a number less than 1. And therefore, according to the ratio test, if the limit of a plus 1 over a is approaching l and l is less than 1, then the infinite series converge. Therefore, we can conclude now. Conclusion is submission of n, n from 1 to infinity a n, which is submission of n from 1 to infinity n cube 5 power n over n factorial converge by ratio test. This is the end of the recording.